that church and live is worth the drive amen so if you don't have a home church this could be your home church where we honor god we love family we serve others and we pursue excellence Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, all uh, our visitors, all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. He's got something for you. Don't let it go. Amen. Just grab it and go with it. Amen. This is what the word, allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. You know why? Because we're his children. He's our Heavenly Father. And we're his children. So the Father always wants to bless us. He wants to encourage us, uh, change us, and he wants to correct us. Amen. So let's remember that. Woo, hallelujah. We're going to continue with God wants to use you. Amen. God wants to use you. You can say that. God wants to use me. You know, the world is always excluding you. God wants to include you. He didn't put you here to, to lose. He put you here to win. And he put you here he anointed you, he called you, well, he called you, he anointed you, and he equipped you to do his mission. Amen. And his, he, your mission is this, being a minister of reconciliation, bringing people to Christ. Amen. So, and the Bible says you can do all things. So, you know, we, we, we got so used to doing, uh, saying what the world says. You're not qualified. You're not good enough. You know, and whatever other negative things they want to say about you. Mm -hmm. But the, that's not what the Word of God says. We're going to be talking about this. Find out what the Word of God says. You know, is it scriptural? If it's scriptural, it's a promise. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Amen. So I'm going to stand on what the Word of God says. If you want to stand on something, stand on the Word. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank Amen. you, Lord. So we're going to continue with God wants to use me. Mm -hmm. God wants to use you. Yes. I mean, yeah, I know you're watching, you're listening. God wants to use you. We're excluding yourself, making yourself, uh -huh. make yourself available. We're going to use that word a lot. Be available. Amen. Amen. Woo, he's knocking, but we tend to just hold back mm -hmm. and not answer. He's knocking. Answer. He's knocking. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't leave like, like, like you, don't leave uh, unchanged. He wants to change you. Yeah. And then the, some, sometimes we say, well, I didn't get anything. Well, you weren't available. You got to be available. Amen. And he's knocking. So make yourself available to receive what God has for you. Amen. When you make yourself available, mm -hmm. he's going to change you. Yeah. And allow, allow the word of God to change you and bless you. Amen. Don't stay the same. Mm. Woo. Man. You know what? I'm excited. So I'm just going to say, grab your sword, soldier of God, and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I can have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking about the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Man, you see all the I am, I have, I can do today. I'll be taught the Word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. The Bible says the mind is the battlefield. So we got to renew our minds to what the Word of God says. Otherwise, you're going to be listening to all kind of other wow. stuff that is not what the Word of God says. It. If it's not scriptural, don't receive it. Amen? Don't receive it. it say, man, is that in the Word of God? No. Well, that's not for me. Hmm. It's scriptural. Praise God. I'm going to stand on it. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I'm excited, soldier. I'm excited, soldier of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. You do the same thing. Amen. God wants to use you, number two. Amen. Well, let me read. Uh, I've got a little scripture nugget here that I want to read to you. It says, Scripture break. Speak. And we've been talking about this. Speak faith filled words. Basically, speak the word of God over your situation. Mm -hmm. We have situations. What are you going to do about it? You're going to speak the word of God to it. It says, if we want the power of God to manifest in our lives and live a victorious life, speak faith-filled words. Speak the word over your situation. Magnify him and not the situation. We yeah. tend to reverse this. We're always magnifying the problem. We hear others and we repeat what they say. Mm -hmm. They're magnifying the problems, you know. Don't do that. 
Magnify God and not the situation. Mm -hmm. Declare you're a winner. Declare that you're a champion. Declare that you're an overcomer through Him. You can do all things through Him, no matter how unqualified you feel. That's the main thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, I don't feel that. I don't, I can't do this. Or I, whatever. You may not feel it, but you know what? Sometimes you feel your body, and your body's telling you, you're sick. <laughs> your body's telling you, you're hungry. You know? So speak the word to it, you know? Speak the word to it. Uh, let me see. No matter how unqualified you feel, Jesus promised to strengthen and enable you. Mm -hmm. Anyone can be positive when things are going well. Oh, yeah. But the way you respond when trouble comes will make you or break you. That's it. Amen. <laughs> you got to be strong in him. Mm -hmm. Any Anyone can be positive when things are going well. Oh, yeah. Amen. So respond in the right way. What you say in the midst of your difficulties will have a direct impact on the outcome speak the word over the situation you know don't just repeat what somebody else says you know they're saying negative things don't say negative things and don't waste words <clears throat> just because it pops in your head don't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth mm -hmm. confess the word speak the word amen mm -hmm. don't look at the facts of your situations look at the truth of god's word mm -hmm. declare his truth over your situation until the fact lines up with the word of god I'm going to confess my healing over this body. And I'm going to speak to it. I speak to it all the time. By Jesus Christ, you heal. Regardless of what he's saying, it's going to line up with the word of God. Whatever that situation is saying, the courts are saying this, people are saying this, but this is what the word of God is saying. I'm going to confess his word over my situation until it lines up with the word of God. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Declare his truth over your situation until it lines up. Make the decision daily to speak faithful words over your situation and you will make it through every day victorious amen bible says we have victory in jesus yeah so you know what i'm going to make every day victorious because i'm going to speak his word and not the problem i'm going to speak his word and not the situation right. Ooh, hallelujah oh how good scripture is this <laughs> this is the day the lord has made I, Jose, will rejoice yes. and be glad in it. But you don't know it's going to be rainy. It's going to be snowy. It's going to be <laughs> super hot today. Mm -hmm. it, you know, whatever the situation, it's not going to dictate how I'm going to serve my That's God. It. Amen. I'm going to be, I'm going to serve him victoriously. I'm yes. going to serve yes. him, you know, with an attitude that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, regardless of what's going on outside regardless of what giants are waiting on you regardless of mm. what the court is saying you know mm. praise god the bible oh, says yeah. philippians 4 13 says i can do all things through christ who yes. strengthens me who's yeah. backing you who's are you mm -hmm. i'm a child of god mm -hmm. amen and he's backing me Ooh, hallelujah david little david look mm. shepherd boy mm -mm. man he says i'm gonna take down this giant he says, mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, when the bear came, when the lions came, mm -hmm. he was with me, and he's going to be with me when I take him down. Mm -hmm. Whatever situation is facing you, yes. yeah. greater is he that's in you than that's he that's in the world. He's not giving me a spirit of fear, but a power, love, yeah. and yeah. a sound yeah. mind. mind. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Church, Thank you, Lord. you lose. If you confess the wrong things, mm -hmm. you're, you're going to give in, and you're going to lose. And just side with the world. No, you gotta stand on what the word of God says yeah, yeah. and confess it and stand your ground. So oh, yeah. when you've done all the stand, says in Ephesians, when you've done all these to stand, stand. Mm -hmm. What are you standing on? I'm standing on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The little shepherd boy. How do you see yourself? He was a little shepherd boy. Mm. But when Jesse came, the man of God came. Mm. To pick the next is, uh, king of Israel, mm -hmm. <laughs> he came to Jesse's house, yes, <laughs> <laughs> and he says, "How many boys you got?" He says, "Well, I've got here's seven of them right here." <laughs> so he has seven walk in front of man of God, and he says, "No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no." Nope. God had already told me, mm -hmm. "Next king of Israel is coming from Jesse's house." Mm -hmm. He said, well, "Do you have another another son?" <laughs> He said, oh yeah, but well, he's just a little shepherd boy. He's watching the sheep. 
I yeah. said, well, bring him. And he walked in front of the man of God. He says, that's, that's him. That's you. See yourself. That's how special you need to see yourself in front of him. You're so special. I'm just a little uh, caretaker. I'm just a little nobody. God has already called you and qualified you. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. So see yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Put your Jesus glasses on every day before you go out. Yeah. You see people with his love and his compassion. Because for God so loved the world, he was sacrificed for every one of us. Yes. Yeah, but you don't know him. Man, that person is mean. That person's ugly. <laughs> but he died for them. And they need a, a chance. They, 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 they get an opportunity to hear about Jesus and they have a choice to make yes or no amen but it's their choice they're going to confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in their heart that God has raised them, Jesus from the dead and they shall be saved it's not up to us we just bring the word we just bring the good news in this negative world and guess what that's good enough when they confess him he's going to give the increase and he's going to call them home the robber at the, at, at, at the cross. One of them had an opportunity. Both of them had opportunities. One of them was still mocking him and confessing what the world says. Man, you're no good. You're nothing. You know, but you're nobody. And the other one says, you know, I recognize you're Jesus. You're the son of God. He says, today you'll be with me in paradise. So it's never too late. You bring the word to somebody. You're a somebody bringing the, the good news to somebody. Amen. That's going to have an opportunity to confess him as Lord and Savior and have an opportunity to go to heaven instead of going to hell. Mm. Hallelujah. Man, I'm excited. Amen. We need to stay excited, church. We're going to be talking about a lot about being excited. Oh, <laughs> Since whatever, wherever you are, God wants to use you now. Be available. Yeah. Serve and serve him now. Amen. And now, there we go. God wants to use you now to keep going. <laughs> and the now is what God wants to use you now. Now is there's no other way. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. Go to the oh, next one. Yeah. This is what it says. It says John 14, 6 says, Jesus says, there's no other way. Keep going to the next one, Carmen. <laughs> and some, of, some, of, some of these we, we went over last week, but it's okay. We're going to review a little bit first. Amen. John 14, 6 is what well, Jesus Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And we get to bring his word to this word lost world. Oh, yes, we do. Woo, hallelujah. Says, There's no other way. And you see the one way sign going up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which way are you going? Huh? Mm. You decide. Well, you know what? You get in the Word of God and study the Word before you believe any faults yeah. from the world. Amen? Amen? Find out for yourself. And don't leave it up to somebody else. That's it. That's Amen? It. You find out for yourself. Find out for yourself. Amen? It says now. There's no other way. That's what now stands for. N-O-W. Now. No other way. He said Jesus way. Amen? And keep going. Here. Yeah. What he wants you to do, he wants you to bloom where you're planted. Hey, well, little Martha. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Remember I told I was telling you about it. He That's said it. the That's unit it. went to minister to the unit. You know, yes. just one person. It doesn't matter if you're in the desert, if you're in the jungle, if you're wherever That's you happen it. to be. Amen. At the grocery store. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter still. Mm -hmm. Bloom where God wants or where, where God wants you. Yeah. Bloom. Grow, mature in the things of God yes, wherever yes, He yes. has you. Don't let yes. attitude, don't get the wrong attitude and say, well, you know, I'm in a no place where I want to be, so I'm just going to mm. be new, uh, lukewarm. No, I just want to no. be neutral. I don't, I don't, I don't want, I just want to be normal. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to do anything. I'm just going to kick back. Mm -mm. Don't do that. It says, yes. bloom where God has you planted. Yes. Amen. Amen. God had uh, David mm -hmm. as a little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. He was promoted. Promotion comes from, from him. Mm -hmm. The next king of Israel mm -hmm. was a little shepherd boy. Amen. See yourself. 
You're yeah. special in God's eyes. See yourself the way he sees you each yeah. and every day, not just once in a while. Amen. The world's always going to disqualify you. Mm -hmm. But God is saying, I've already qualified you. Mm -hmm. He qualifies you. What do you mean? He's, call, he's yes. already qualified you. Woo! He's looking for those who will commit. Those who be uh, faithful. Those who be available. Amen. So stay ready for his use. And he wants to use you daily. Amen. Just uh, some quick reviews and before we get back into it. Keep going. Yes. Bible says, mm -hmm. I, Jose, yes. personalize. When you open your Bible, personalize it. It says, I, mm -hmm. you, we, whatever it says. Yes. No, Jose can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens oh. me. You know, and I'm going to confess, Jose can do all things through Christ. And you know what? It's going to make you mad. <laughs> because you've already disqualified me. Mm -hmm. Why are you saying those things? That's not what the word of God says. No, but I'm going to personalize it. This is for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. And I can do all things through Christ. All things. It's going to make some people jealous. And sometimes even in the body of Christ. Oh, boy. Amen. So we got to get come together. We assemble ourselves together to encourage one another. Yes. And to empower one another. Mm -hmm. And doing the things of God instead of. Competing against each other, we want to complete one another so that we can be in unity and not divided. Amen. That's because that's what the enemy wants to do. He wants to divide you so that this group can <laughs> be a certain way and this group can be a certain way. And, and and the ladies sit on this side and the men sit on this side no. and the elders sit on this side and and the young people in the back side. No, 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 no. We're the body of Christ. Amen. Everything functioning to get together. together. Amen. Functioning normal. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Okay. <laughs> I'm preaching your enemy now. All right, Keep yeah. turning. <laughs> <laughs> says, here's the thing, you know, and find out what the word of God says. says Who am I gonna send? Here I am, Lord. Send me. That's it. Amen. Here I am, send me. Hey, we're having a, a dance, we're having a party, we're having a game. Oh, I want to be part of it. Yeah, well, what about the things of God? <laughs> he said, who wants to go? Oh, no, just like a little red hen. Who's going to help the little red hen? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to help. No. <laughs> but when it's done, everybody wants to partake. And oh, eat. yes. Amen. So, you know, mm -mm -mm. when you're obedient to the things of God and uh -huh. do the things of God, you know what comes? Uh -huh. What comes is promotion. What oh, comes yes, is yes. growth. What comes yes. is maturity. Uh -huh. Amen. And you climb, how do you climb the, the, the ladder? One step at a time. One, step at a time. One day at a time. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't just jump all the way to the top. That's it. That's it. Woo. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Bible says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens mm -hmm. you. Isaiah 58, uh, uh, excuse me, Isaiah 6 and 8 says, I'm just reading the bottom part to it. It says, here, I, here am I. Send me. Mm -hmm. Use me. I'm available. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. He wants to use you. We, he's not excluding us. We exclude ourselves That's because it. we feel like the world mm. has been dictating to us. Mm. The world is saying, <clears throat> you're not grown enough. Mm -hmm. You're not big enough. <laughs> Amen. The All Bible right. says, G, uh, J, I mean, mm -hmm. <laughs> David was a little shepherd, little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. did, yeah. you, did you read the part where there was a big crowd listening, came to listen. Uh, Jesus was preaching, mm -hmm. and then uh, he told his disciples, "Let's let's uh, feed them." Mm -hmm. I know what they were thinking. Mm -hmm. They were saying, "Are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people's out there?" He says, "Well, go see what they have." Mm -hmm. So they went with an attitude, wrong attitude, yes. because they gonna say, "Well, let's go see." Mm -hmm. They found one lunch. Mm -hmm. Little shit, little boys lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for the mom that packed his lunch. <laughs> Enough for him. Mm -hmm. And the disciples found that lunch. He said, "Well, mm -hmm. when we show this to the master, mm -hmm. he's gonna say that's not enough. Just send them home." Mm -hmm. No, he says, no. "You know what?" He says, "This is what we found." Yeah. He says, yeah. "Good. That's good enough. That's yeah. good enough for him." 
Amen. We got to get in the right attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you're serving Him, know that you can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. And He blessed it. And guess yes. what? How many baskets was left over? Oh, 12. 12, 12 baskets mm -hmm. was left over from yes. that little one lunch. One lunch. A few loaves of bread. All those people. You know? Mm -hmm. So praise God. You know, hey, we, uh, we shouldn't try to limit Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's limitless. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't put limits on Him. Mm -hmm. Don't try to hold Him down. They found a lunch. And he blessed it. He multi it multiplied. That's how he wants to bless you. Woo! Hallelujah. Somebody yeah. needed that. <laughs> Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. So make yourself available. Amen. We make ourselves available to everyone but God. We try to impress everyone oh, but yeah. God. Come on now. <laughs> impress is just kind of. They excite, move, influence, mm -hmm. sway, control, and mm -hmm. be ruled. Mm -hmm. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. That's it. Amen. Put God first. Mm -hmm. And you will reap rewards. That's it. He wants to bless you. Yes. He's already blessed us. We just got to line up with his word and receive his blessings. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. Here we go. Matthew 6, 34. We read this but it says but seek first the kingdom of God his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well mm -hmm. and 34 says therefore don't look do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself yes, each yes. day has enough troubles of its own oh, that's for sure. so yes. don't magnify your problem mm. simplify your problem mm. give it to him he says cast it on me first Peter 5 7 says what cast all cares on him because he cares for you. He wants you to be carefree so that you can go and fulfill and accomplish what he wants you to do. Amen. We try to put too much on ourselves. We try to put the world on ourselves and then we can't do anything. Amen. Say, so I can't do that. That's too much. <laughs> Come on now. We're, we're cruising. Come on, Carmen. Keep them coming. We're cruising. <laughs> This is what we need to tell yourself every day. Yes. Psalms 118, 24 says what? This is the new day that the Lord has made. It says, we, some say we, some say I, I say Jose, will rejoice and be glad in it. Be passionate about the new day God has given you. Be passionate about the new day God has made available to you. Be passionate for the new day God has called you to serve him. Amen. Amen. Each and every day. Mm -hmm. Serve him. But be rejoiceful and be glad in this new day he has given you. Your first miracle was when he gave you that wake up call and you open your eyes. I say, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Instead of saying, oh my God, I got so many things to do. Mm -hmm. You got to get your priorities, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got so many cares to do. Mm -hmm. So many things to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. And I ain't got time for God right now. Mm. Amen. We put him to the end. Yes. And at the end, we fall asleep on him. <laughs> cares, you know, we just talked about that. Cares, circumstances, concerns, troubles, anxieties, worries, uh, weather conditions, distress, sufferings, pains, distractions. All these things just pile up on you. Mm -hmm. If you let them. Didn't he say to cast it on him? Why are you still holding on to him? Mm -hmm. Dump it on him. <laughs> he said, let me have it. Don't allow the world people to take you out of your peace. We talked about that. You know what? They want to give you all their concern. They want to give you all their problems. He said, I'm going to walk in my peace. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this day God has given me. Yeah. Amen. So. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share the word of God with you. I'm going to share him with you. But I'm not going to take your care or your concern. Yes, you yes. give it to him. This is what I do. Mm. And I have peace about it. Mm. So I, I'm going to bring them into my peace. Mm -hmm. And I let them take me out of my peace. Yes, yes. And give me the, 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 the world problems. I mean, I don't want that. <laughs> you bring them into your peace. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Keep going. Yes, yes. Man, we're doing good. Luke 10, 12 says what? It says the harvest is plenteous. Mm -hmm. 
but the workers are few. <laughs> yeah. Hey Amen. He's called us, and the harvest is plenty. It has to mean that's man. There's more, more than enough. But there's only a few workers. Hey Amen. Mm. See yourself yeah. as one of those workers. Hey Amen. Yeah. Being that minister of reconciliation, God has called you to be and share the good news with the world. Hey Amen. Hallelujah. Keep going, Turner. Whew. That's it. Uh, St. Corinthians 5 17 says what? It says, therefore, if any man is it being Christ, he is a new creature. The old is gone. The old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That's it. The little ugly coon all of a sudden is a beautiful butterfly. Mm. Amen. Hey, the old me <laughs> is gone. Mm. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm a new person in Christ. And so are you. See yourself that way. What God brought you from, yeah. He can do the same for it, for, it. for for them as well. Yeah. All they need to do is hear the good news. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hear the good news, and they will be changed. Amen. But He wants us to be His ministers of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. He wants you to know and say, "Well, I don't think I can talk to people." Mm. Well, He says you can do all things all through things. Him. That's it. Amen. So. Mm -hmm. Don't exclude yourself. Build yourself up in the word so you can be strong in the word. Amen. Amen. And and when you get full of the word, it's gonna flow out of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. How you open it up. Hey, how do you think I learned all them cuss words? <laughs> <laughs> I got filled with them. Mm. Man, I come from a family of champions of uh cussing. <laughs> and I knew them all, man. I couldn't wait. Man, when I started cussing, you know, it's like, wow, I feel so grown up. Ah. <laughs> didn't, feel, didn't feel right inside because my spirit man yes, yes. was totally against it yeah, yeah. then I found out what the word of God said and I said man you know what I still know them all mm. but they won't go past my look mm. amen right. because I am more selective of what mm. comes out of my mouth amen. if I ain't going to bless me if I ain't going to bless somebody don't say it Amen. Woo. Be strong in him. Lord, I need your strength. What do you think Jesus did every time he spent time with the Father? He says, Father, I need you. I need your strength. I don't know if I can fulfill this. I need your strength. If Jesus needed help, <laughs> what about us? We're going through the same things, you know. There's still ugly people out there. Amen. And they want to say bad things about you. And there's all kinds of rage going on. But I gotta be Christ-like, Amen. I gotta be strong in Him, Lord. I need Your strength. Woo, hallelujah! And listen, keep going. Matthew twenty and eight. Learn these. Write these down. Right in the center, it says Matthew twenty and eight. It says the Son of Man, Jesus, did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. For God so loved the world that he yes. gave, sacrificed his only son. Yes. But Jesus came, he knew his mission was to serve, not to be served. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. So if Jesus can do these things, so can I. I can do all things through him. Amen. Keep going. The next one is Mark. Mark 10, 45 says the same thing. Basically it says, for even the son of man didn't come to be served, but to serve and give his life a ransom as a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. So he's teaching us Ephesians. Uh, I didn't write this one down, but Ephesians uh, 5 and 1 and 2. Let's go there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. And we've read it before. What do we use? <coughs> we use the Word of God. Amen. Ephesians, uh, I want to read it to you the way it's written. And it's in uh, 5, 1 and 2. Five, yes, but I'm going to read it to you from the uh, Amplified. Okay. Amen. Well, the King James says this. He says, Be ye therefore followers of God as dear children. Verse 2 says, And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Now the Amplifier says this. This is what the Amplifier says. It says, therefore be imitators of God. Copy him. Okay, child of God. 
Christian believer. Mm -hmm. Therefore, be imitators of God. Did say world. Well. <laughs> it says be imitators of God. How am I going to imitate him? I'm going to find out what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. And copy what the word of God says. Confess what the word of God says. Copy him and follow his examples. Yes. As well beloved children imitate their fathers. Mm -hmm. If you ain't teaching your child the right things. Mm -hmm. They're going to learn the world's ways. Oh, yeah. The Bible says in, in Proverbs. Train your child the way they should go. When they're old they won't depart from it. Yeah. So parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're to train our children first at home. Yeah. Before we send them anywhere else. Yeah, for sure. Amen. And nowadays. We want everybody else to train them. And they turn out the wrong way. Mm. And then we blame them. No, we got to train We got to train them the way they should go. Mm -hmm. Let me read it all to you. It says, therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his examples as well-beloved children. Imitate their fathers. Verse 2. And walk in love, mm. esteeming and enlightening one another as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. A slain, uh, a slain. Excuse me, a slain offering, a sacrifice to God for you, so that it became a sweet fragrance. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So, imitate your God. How am I going to imitate Him? Well, you know what I got to do. What I have to do is I have to open the Word mm -hmm. and find out how am I going to know Him. I'm yeah. going to open the Word and read yeah. it and find out what the Word of God says, so That's I can start copying Him mm -hmm. and imitating Him. Mm -hmm. And you know what people see? They're going to see. The greater one. They're going to see Jesus through you. Amen. Because I'm imitating him. Because yes. I'm copying him. Yes. It's okay to copy as long as I'm copying him. Yep. <laughs> Praise God. I used to copy other things. So. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole rat now. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Hallelujah. I like these scriptures. Write these down. You know, mm -hmm. Colossians 3, 23 and 24. It says... And whosoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that the Lord, he shall receive the yes. reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Yeah. Who are you serving? Mm -hmm. You know, you're serving people. I see it well. You got to be careful who you're representing. Mm. Amen. Because... <laughs> If I'm gonna hire somebody to work for me, I want to make sure they're representing me. Mm -hmm. Amen. There's a lot of people out there serving right now that are not doing a good job. They're not representing me. Amen. We need to represent him and be Christ-like. Amen. But we gotta get full of him before we can show him. Amen. So we must be careful. Why? Because we serve him. And you know, so serve them through, mm -hmm. he's going to serve them through you. So you be Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> Keep going, God. Mm -hmm. And Ephesians 6, 7, and 8 says this, says, Serve wholeheartedly as if you were serving the Lord, not people, because mm -hmm. you know that the Lord will reward each one for whatever good they do. That's it. So, if I'm going to do, I do jobs for other people. And sometimes these people are not whole. <clears throat> but I do as if I was doing it unto him. Mm. So I don't want to cheat anybody. Mm. Well, they are, they, are out of they are out of town. They are out of state. Mm. They don't know. I just say, hey, you owe me. This is what you owe me. Mm -hmm. No. I know better because of what, God, what the Word of God tells me. Mm -hmm. So I do my job knowing He's watching. Mm -hmm. And I'm serving Him. So if I'm going to serve Him, I'm going to do my best. Mm -hmm. Lord, this is the best I can do. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. But I'm not going to serve Him whole uh, half-hearted. I'm going to serve Him wholehearted. Mm -hmm. That's what He wants us to do. Be Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. Yeah. I'm excited. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Keep going. Oh, okay, right there. Mm. Romans 12 and 11 says this. Mm. It says, 
Do not be lazy, but always work hard. Oh, yeah. Child of God, are you listening? Mm. <laughs> work for the Lord with a heart full of love. Work passionately for Him. Mm -hmm. Don't slack. We love the world or other things more than Him. Mm. We have more passion for the world than we have for mm. Him. That was the New Living Translation. Mm -hmm. The New Living Version says this. Mm -hmm. The New Life Version says, Don't be lazy, mm -hmm. but always work hard. Yes. <laughs> work for the Lord with a heart full of love for Him. Yes. Serve Him passionately. No slacking. We love and serve the world better than Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because you know what? Hey. They can see, and they're right there. So, hey, I'm going to do my best. But when you're calling, you can't see me. So I'm going to do halfway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. And uh, Romans 12, 11, in this uh, New Living Translation says this. Never be lazy, but work hard and serve the Lord with, serve the Lord enthusiastically. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. <laughs> it's hot out there, and I'm sweating. But I'm excited for God. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to have a good time. Why should I be sad? Why am I sad about it? I see you working. And, and you got a smile. And, and you're having a good time. Why? Because I'm having a good time with the Lord. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. And I'm yeah. excited. Amen. Talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. The Word of God. Amen. I'm excited because I'm serving you, Lord. Mm -hmm. When I fix, uh, clean this place. When I do what I do. Don't have to only sign to you. Amen. Yeah. So we only do it when we're trying to impress somebody. <laughs> Romans 12 and, uh, 12 and 11 says mm -hmm. this. Never be lazy, but work hard mm -hmm. and serve the Lord enthusiastically. Yes. That is the New That's Living trans <laughs> Translation. I like the enthusiastically. Uh -huh. Why it really stretched it out. <laughs> Excited. Amen. Yeah. Hey. I used to be... Oh, well, we're still in the world, but not of the world. Mm -hmm. But, man, when I was into all the worldly things, you know, oh, I was geez. excited doing all those things. <laughs> Trying to impress people. Oh, gee. Now, Lord's watching. Mm. He watches you. He knows you mm -hmm. better than anybody else. That's it. That's and it. loves you better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, I'm going to do this unto you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Even when they're not watching me. Yes. And they don't watch me all the time because most of the, some of the jobs I do are for people from out of town. Mm. But you know what I do is I take before and after pictures mm -hmm. and I send it to them. I say, mm -hmm. look, you know, and I know they have people in town that can verify no. this, you know, say, oh, yeah, I went and checked, man. <laughs> that place is all grown up, <laughs> you know, that place is all messed up. No, I have peace about it. I don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He knows before I even do anything. Mm -hmm. He knows my heart, period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Be passionate about the new day he's given us. Yeah. Uh, Psalms, again, with Psalms 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has given me. Yeah. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Regardless of weather conditions, regardless of financial <laughs> conditions, regardless of physical conditions, yeah. whatever conditions yeah. are coming against you, yeah. greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Amen. No matter what is coming my way, but God is, I'm on God's side. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to stand on mm -hmm. his word and he's with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Be passionate about the new life he's mm -hmm. given you. Second Corinthians 5, 17 again. Yeah. Old is out, the new is in. And people will look at you and say, man, you look the same. You're the same person. No. Mm -hmm. My act, words and my actions are totally different. Yes. Amen. You're not quite the same. We ain't hanging out anymore. No, no. <laughs> Got a new crowd now. New crowd. <laughs> Lord's brought new friends around. Mm -hmm. You know, and some come for a short season, mid-season, mm -hmm. mid some for a long season. That's it. But still, mm -hmm. he knew who to bring around. Amen. It's a new life. And when you're trusting him, things are going to change. And his change is good change for you. Amen. 
So let's 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 remember this. Amen. I'm trusting him. But we talked about some about this too. Beware. What am I going to be aware of? Beware of passion killers. Beware of dream killers. I'm going to share my dream with you. I'm going to share my vision with you. Oh no, you can't do that, man. You know, we got some things to do. Remember we talked about this. You know, you can't you can't be doing that, you know. We need to take it easy. You're doing too much. Beware of the passion, the dream, the mission, the vision killers, because they're gonna come. The enemy is gonna send people your way to distract you, to stop you, to change you. Man, you don't wanna you don't wanna do that. The enemy people, distractions will try to steal your love, will try to steal your joy, yeah. will try to steal your peace. Man, this is why you should be stressed out. Because you got this. And you got too much of this. And you shouldn't be laughing. Mm. <laughs> Keep smiling and now yeah. frowning. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Put a smile on your face. It's so much better than a frown. Yes, it is. Amen. I tell Patricia all the time. Smile. Oh, yeah. Jesus loves you. <laughs> uh, yeah. John 10, 10. We already know this, but that's okay. Uh -huh. well, you know what we're revealing? We're, we're going over what the Word of God says. Yeah. It says the thief, whatever you want to call him, uh -huh. thief, devil, mm -hmm. diablo, Whatever you want to call him. The Lucifer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> says the thief comes. Yeah. But for to steal. And to kill. And yeah. to destroy. Jesus says I come. That you might have life. And that you might have it more, more abundantly. abundantly. It didn't just say abundantly. It says more mm -hmm. abundantly. That's it. So you know when you're serving God. And God is blessing you. It's going to make some people jealous. Because no, they don't understand. No, they don't. Man, I'm working three jobs and you're doing better than me. And you only got one job. Why? Because I'm serving him. Yeah. And he wants me. Glory. He wants to bless me. Mm -hmm. And to bless me more abundantly. And have more peace about it. Amen. And then why? Because I'm giving him all my cares, all my concerns. Yeah. <laughs> and all them extra weights. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The Amplify says this. The thief, remember there was two thieves yes. hung with Jesus. Uh -huh. And one was still mocking him and the other one says, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. We've done wrong. Mm -hmm. But he had done nothing okay. wrong. That's it. Man, he recognized the master. Yes, he did. And he says, you're changed. Mm -hmm. Today, you're going to change because you're going to be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. Amen. Says the uh, Amplified says a thief comes only in order to steal, mm -hmm. to kill, and to destroy. Mm -hmm. That's all the enemy wants to do. So mm -hmm. <laughs> don't make friends with the enemy. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> don't side with you. Come on now. <laughs> says Jesus says I come that they might have Life. have excuse me I come that they might have yeah. and enjoy life mm -hmm. and have it more. Oh. And have it in abundance, abundance. to the full yes. till it overflows. Amen. That's Say, man, how are you making it, man? Jeez. I'm working all these jobs uh. and you got one little <laughs> job and you're making it more than me. What's what's the deal? Mm -hmm. When they open the door, you can walk in and say, mm -hmm. this is why. Mm -hmm. Because I'm serving him. Mm -hmm. Because I'm doing it under him. That's it. That's it. Amen. And I'm... You can, there's no other way. Mm. Woo! Hallelujah. John 10, 10. Thief comes to steal. Kill, destroy. Jesus said, I come there. You might have abundant life. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind to the things of God. Replace the bad thoughts with the word of God. Amen. It says, mm -hmm. <laughs> the battlefield is the mind. How do you get your mind in order? Well, renew it. How am I going to renew it? Renew it with the word of God. What does the word of God say? Confess what the word of God says. Don't just blast out words. Words have power. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 21. It says that death and life are in the power of the word, the tongue. Yes. In the tongue, you speak words. Yeah. So you're speaking death. 
You're speaking negative. Why not confess the right things and say the right things? Amen. Life and death are in the power. It says power of the tongues. That means power in the words you speak. Words are carriers of life or death. Amen. So speak the right words. Mm -hmm. Control your tongue. <laughs> Control your tongue. Speak faith-filled words. Amen. Change your thinking thinking. Because right. you, 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 you're going to want to say what pops in your head. Mm. And whatever pops in your head, you're just going to say it. You're just going to blast out words because mm -hmm. they're just words. Mm -hmm. Well, no. The Bible says there's death and life mm -hmm. in the power of the words you speak. That's it. That's it. So control what you say. Mm -hmm. I used to say those things, remember? The cussing family. <laughs> I used to cuss everything. Not anymore. Change your way, your thinking, thinking. Mm. Be instead of being negative, be positive. Yeah. Let go of past. Mm -hmm. Let go of hurts. Let yeah. go of guilt. Get uh, grief, uh, grudges, oh. bad thoughts, things that try to hold you back, mm -hmm. things that try to limit yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We try to limit him mm -hmm. by the things we speak. We limit ourselves with the things we say. Mm -hmm. So. Let's not put limits there no more. That's it. Go forward instead of backwards. Yeah. Press on, child of God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to press on with him. And I'm going to confess what his word says. Woo, hallelujah. Man, I need to stop. <laughs> beware, beware, beware of the company you keep. You know, hey, I've got this company, you know. I impress them. And they follow me. <laughs> So be careful mm. of the company you keep. Amen. You know, <laughs> quit hanging out with skunks. <laughs> they stink. <laughs> Jesse smelling skunks this morning. <laughs> Don't keep skunks around. <laughs> Beware the company you keep. Don't hang out with skunks. Listen, I'm going to be closing it with these, but it says, Give no place to the devil. Amen. Give no place to the enemy. Yes. Keep going, Colonel. Uh -huh. That's where we want to be. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I threw it. I, I was going to give you 27, but I threw in 26. Because 26 says this, And be ye angry and sin not. You know why? Because you get in the flesh. Yes. And the flesh wants to steal, kill, and destroy. Mm -hmm. Lord, let me just lay my hands on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you can heal them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Most of the time, says if you get angry, you're going to sin. So you got to be careful. Be yeah. angry and sin not. Yeah. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. wrath. Amen. Neither give place to what? The devil. Mm -hmm. Remember when the devil comes to steal, yes. kill, and destroy. Let me read it to you the way I have it here. Well, that was the King James. Uh, easy to read version. Mm -hmm. I like easy to read version. It says this. When you're angry, don't let that anger make you sin. All right. Because it will. If you don't renew your mind mm -hmm. to the things of God, it's going to make you sin mm -hmm. and don't stay angry all day oh. you know what you're meditating on the wrong things yep. and you're meditating on being mad mm -hmm. and being mad and being in the flesh you're going to want to mm -hmm. get even or just give them a piece of your mind mm -hmm. or get a piece of your piece piece of your uh fist mm -hmm. <laughs> or your mm -hmm. weapon oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. says Verse 27 says, easy to read version, don't give the devil a way to defeat you. He wants to steal, kill, destroy. destroy. He wants to find a way to defeat you. Mm -hmm. How is he going to defeat you? Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to say the wrong things and you're going to open the door mm -hmm. and he's going to come in. Mm -hmm. I didn't open the door. Yes, he did. The they things did. you say 
opened the door for him and he just walked right in and he wants to when he comes in he wants to be in control mm -hmm. amen so let's not do that amen again St. Corinthians 5 17 says the old is out the new is in mm -hmm. so I'm going to control myself keep the new you stirred up fired up and serving with the passion amen. making yourself available to him to be used by him mm -hmm. on a daily basis amen so did you get something amen. did it bless you yes did you let it bless you yes. <laughs> lord bless me i need a lot of blessing right now amen Thank you, lord. you know who you are mm -hmm. <laughs> you're watching you're listening mm -hmm. it's time you turn your life around yes and uh say so, lord it's time just like the robber at the cross, you know, that was late. You don't have to wait that late. Mm -mm. He's, you still, he still wants to use you. Mm -hmm. Make yourself available. All you need to do is say, Lord, I, <laughs> I've sinned against you. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. That's He's going to say, I forgive you. Now press Amen. on and do what I want you to do. Amen. Do what I've called you to do. Amen. How do you know what he's called you to do? Well, you find out. You get into the Word and start reading the Word. Get in a Bible-based church where they can teach you the Word. And you know you come, we assemble ourselves together to be empowered by the Word of God so that you can go and do what He wants you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Knowing that you can do all things through Him. And He wants to use you. Amen. More than anybody else. So let's remember that. You have sickness in your body, anything malfunctioning in your body, I got to speak to it myself every day. Say, body, line up with the word of God. By Jesus Christ, you heal. Well, I don't feel so good. Well, I'm not going to speak the problem. I'm just going to say, body, be healed in Jesus' name. By his stripes, you heal. Malfunction, stop. And I want you to function the way God created you to function. Amen. So I'm going to speak to it till it lines up with the word of God. Amen. So let's remember this. Praise God. Confess the word and not the problem. Magnify him and not the problem. Yes. Amen. But you got to speak the word to it for it to line up and change. Amen. Mm -hmm. He says, I send my word out and it accomplishes what I sent to do. Mm -hmm. So that's what we need to do. Amen. The same thing. It work for him. It'll work for us. Yes. But we got to work it. Amen. We got to confess it. We got to uh, say it. Yes. Amen. So let's remember this. So amen. So it's time to give. So go to our website, it should be on your screen, mm -hmm. and it says um, NBCBigBen.com, hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843, and for Cash App, say it's the New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you and we love you. Go out and have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.